welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today's video is super exciting because I can finally show you what I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale I was able to shop yesterday which was the 10th and today's the 11th and I'm hoping to upload the video today as well the next level can shop on the 13th which is Thursday and then it opens to everyone on the 19th. The difference with this sale, which I'm sure a lot of you already know, is that it's not last season products like it usually is. It's usually almost always last season that goes on sale. This time it's a pre-season sale. So these products did not come out yet. They're fall and winter for this year. Um, and before they come out, they put them on a sale so that you can get ready for fall and winter and buy discounted items. But a lot of them will go back on sale like after September, October, especially shoes and clothes. Usually those end up getting discounted again at some point before the end of the year. So don't feel bad if you miss out, you'll be able to find them again. You might just have to wait a couple of months. So I will start and let me know if you want to see a part two because there's still a bunch of items that are either shipped that I'm waiting for or I'm waiting for in-store pickup on them. So this isn't everything that I got, but uh, let me know if you want me to film a part two or if you'd rather just see it on my Instagram. If you're not shopping, if you're not able to or you don't want to, don't feel like you're missing out. All these things are going to be on sale again next summer. So if you wanted something really badly, but you're not able to buy it, they will be there, trust me. Last year, I really couldn't shop much. And I felt like, oh my gosh, everyone is talking about it. All these bloggers are posting about it. I felt like I'm missing out so much and it made me so sad. And this year I was able to get everything I wanted. So don't feel sad, um, it will all be on sale again. And yeah, so let's start with my favorite items that I picked up because I I was like in pain waiting to film this video so I can start using them. So I went to the mall on the 7th, which was Friday, and it wasn't my day to shop yet, but I was looking around just to kind of see what everything looks like in person, and you saw some clips at the beginning of this video from that day, and I was looking at the Barefoot Dream section, and the lady that works there was asking if she could help me, and I said, I'm just looking around, it's not my day to shop yet, and she said, just bring it over and I'll let you check out, and I did. So I was able to get a couple of things right away, which I'm so glad I did because they sold out online really fast. So they do come back in stock though. Um, you just have to stock the website and once in a while, like one of the blankets was back in stock like five times since yesterday. So if you stock the website, most likely you'll be able to find it. And I think they do release more when it opens to the public. So don't give up. But, um, but I did pick up a few things in person on Friday. So the first thing I got is this Barefoot Dream blanket. And this is Barefoot Dreams, this is Barefoot Dreams. Um, and what happened in the past is I used to wash them and I wash them just like regular laundry in warm, I think warm or hot water with regular detergent and I put them in the dryer and they got completely ruined. And I also, I think I have hard, hard water in New Jersey and I need like a water softener. So I thought this Barefoot Dream thing is a total scam, like they never stay soft and it turns out I've just been washing them completely wrong. So now 
you have to wash them in cold water and you cannot put them in the dryer they hate heat apparently i contacted the company they said never use any heat on it use baby detergent no softener no anything like that and then they should stay in great shape like how you got them so i got this one um they have different versions they have the blankets and then they have like a smaller throw version they're either 72 inches long or 60 this is i think 60 and i got this at nordstrom rack and then the ones on sale i picked up this one is 72 which is going to be bigger and i'm like that's what i wanted i wanted something bigger and i know a lot of people say you can just get them at nordstrom rack like don't spend the money but they are smaller and shorter and also they don't have the colors they have usually just like random colors and they're almost always sold out anyway so i just went ahead and bought it and then another one i got which is so crazy because it feels different it actually feels different even though the fabric is the same and the blend says that it's the same i picked up another one um this is just in the cream color and for some reason i don't know why this one just feels softer than this they're both super soft and nice but this one just feels like almost like wet like wet butter soft whereas this one i don't know like it's just it feels different the, i like this one better to be honest which is good because this one these this style is still in stock in like five different colors and you can still get it if you want to and this is also 72 inches long so if i were to pick between one or the other i would go with this one i don't know what it is it seems like thinner it seems it's so soft that it almost feels wet like there's just something different about them um but they're both really nice and i'm very excited to have both of them and then the last barefoot dream thing that i got is this card again and it's the same color as the first blanket when i saw this i was like i have to get it it's basically like wearing a blanket it's like a robe that you can wear outside and it doesn't look weird and i love it and i really love this color that's the color i wanted originally and then i also decided i'm gonna get the leopard print one like the brown and black one but that one sold out super fast i saw it in stock once and it like sold out within minutes so if you keep checking you'll probably find it at some point with cardigans i usually get a large i like them to be oversized and be able to wear like a sweater or like a long sleeve shirt underneath it but with this i got a medium um because they're very very big so i would definitely if you're in between sizes size down they do run big I, in my opinion i saw them in the store and the large looks literally like a parachute i don't know where to put them i'm just gonna keep them here George is going to lay on them. He's right behind me there every time I start filming. So the next thing is something I totally didn't plan on getting. I always saw it on the website and I just kind of looked over it. I never really thought about it. But then I watched uh, Makeup by Tiffany D's video and she made it sound so good that I just picked it up. And it's the New Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. It comes in a set of two. You pay the price of one. And apparently it's supposed to make your lashes super, super long, curled, thicker, so much more hairs. Like it's just, it's supposed to make them look like you're wearing extensions. And she said it works amazingly. My friend used it in the past. She told me it works. And my lashes, if you've watched any of like my get ready with me videos or any kind of videos where I'm not wearing makeup, I almost have no lashes. Like they're super short they're blonde like there's basically nothing and so i used to get lash extensions and then the lady i would go to stopped doing them and i didn't want to go and pay like crazy amounts at a salon so i thought i would try this out it was 95 dollars, and you get two one of them is in my bathroom i've been using it for the last three days and i haven't seen a difference yet but i heard it takes about 30 days it looks like this so it just has two in there they also have them for brows if you have like a bold spot which i do they have this for brows as well but i didn't get that because i just didn't want to spend double the money i figured i'll just see if it works on my lashes first so i got this um the next thing i got it's also in my bathroom is this living proof your big hair moment and it's a set of shampoo conditioner and the dry volume blast i've been hearing about the dry volume blast for 
probably years now everyone raves about it apparently it gives you so much volume so much grit to your hair um it just kind of looks like dry shampoo and then the actual shampoo and conditioner they come in a big size the eight fluid ounces it's like the full size and this one was 56 dollars, and it's an 85 dollars value and then the last thing the last beauty thing which am i waiting for something else no, I'm not. I don't think. I think that's it for the beauty that I purchased. I got this Laxatan hand cream duo, and it comes with the regular hand cream, the shea butter one, and then which retails alone for twenty nine dollars, and the set was thirty eight. And then you get another hand cream, and this one smells like lavender. It smells so good. I used it yesterday, and it's like a true lavender smell. It smells like actual lavender flowers. Oh, it smells so good so relaxing and it just comes in a set so you're saving basically like $20 when you buy the set than if you were to get them separately right 20 you see yeah it's $50 value so you're saving $20 next um I got some clothes so like I said I'm waiting for a bunch of stuff in the mail I'm waiting for a pair of shoes two jewelry items a couple of tops and coffee <laughs> So if you want me to do a video, I'll do it. But I got these t-shirts. These are by the brand All In Favor. And I got a white one. And I also got a, um, like an olive one. I got them in an extra large. I'm normally a medium. But I found that in the past, I would just get a shirt, like any t-shirts, I would get them in large. But a lot of brands, even the large one, wasn't oversized enough for me. I like them to be very oversized, very comfortable. Like, I don't want them to be tight in the armpits. And so I got extra large in both. I was going through all the t-shirts that were on sale. And a lot of them just didn't seem really good quality. They seemed like they're see-through or like um, either the sleeves were too short or they felt too tight or they weren't soft. And these ones just look the best out of all the ones on sale. And they're a v-neck. They feel like almost like silky, watery kind of material. It's so smooth, so soft. They're just incredibly comfortable. I tried them on. They are definitely oversized and they, they're long, so you can wear them with leggings. So I would definitely size up at least one size. Um, I don't think it's necessary to size up two like I did, but at least one size. And they're just super soft and they come in a ton of different colors. So if you're gonna buy t-shirts, I would definitely recommend these ones. I'll leave the links for everything below like always. And then the last shirt I got that I have here um, is this one. This is just like a body hugging, layering, long sleeve shirt by BP. And this one was on sale from 25 to I think 1590. These were also from 25 to 1590. And I, it turns out I already had one from last year that I completely forgot about. But this one, I needed a new one anyway. Um, it's just a layering shirt, so you can wear it under like a vest in the fall if you're going to a pumpkin patch or anything like that. It hugs your body, it's comfortable, it keeps you warmer, and it's very, very soft. It's like buttery soft. And then I also got a bra. So I was going to get a couple of them, but I just got one in store on Friday just to try it out and see if I like it. And it's the brand, um, what's this brand? True & Co. And it's just this uh, bralette. I got it in a large, um, I thought I would be a medium, but then when you look at the tag, it shows you like the size conversion. I'm a 38C usually, so I got the large. I thought it would be too big, but it fits super well. It's very comfortable and it's like, it sits lower under your boobs. And so what I like about it is that you can wear it under like a, almost like a see-through top or a blouse and it's not gonna look like someone can see your bra it almost looks like a crop top so i think it would be sufficient to wear like to work under something that might be a little bit see-through i really like it it's super comfortable and then i got a pair of underwear from chantel um it's the soft stretch bikini and apparently it looks like this it fits from extra small to extra large which seems kind of weird because how would it fit all different sizes but it does i wanted to get a lot of them i was planning to get like four or five pairs 
but they seem so delicate that it almost feels like a pantyhose kind of fabric or like those mesh panties that you get at the hospital that's what it feels like I honestly am worried that it's not gonna hold up when I wash it you definitely have to wash it with delicates in a lingerie bag for sure um, it just doesn't seem super sturdy like it's so it's like mesh I, I don't know how they wash I'm curious how it'll hold up I'm gonna wear it maybe like tomorrow wash it if it washes well I'll get more if not I'm not going to uh, but it was super comfortable just like from me trying it on for a couple of minutes it basically felt like you were not wearing any underwear so I really first impressions really really nice the next thing I got was a fail and I got it for in-store pickup I went yesterday to get it and I tried it on in the car and it was just like I, I have to return it and it's this hat and I love the hat like I think it's so beautiful I love the color I love the silk uh, ribbon but it is so small I don't know if I just didn't look at dimensions or if I don't know I don't know how I missed it but it's so tiny like I'm gonna show you like that's that's all it fits <laughs> it doesn't even fit on my head and I do have a large head so that's definitely one of the issues but apparently I was reading reviews on it and someone else said that it fits like their child it's way too small for a grown-up so I don't know how I missed that um, but it is beautiful it's just so tiny it's like 21 inches diameter I think and I'm um, like 23 so I wanted to get a different hat but almost all of them are sold out now I'll keep checking back um, so if you have a small head I think you might love it it is really nice I like the um, the brim is small and so it's not like getting in your eyes and obstructing your vision it's comfortable it's soft it's just so small so this is a return for sure and then the last thing you know my hair is like crazy now the last thing is a pair of shoes and I do have another pair of shoes coming so I could not decide between two pairs of booties one had a slit on them and one just went like above your ankle and didn't have any slits so you could wear socks with it and I couldn't decide because I don't like to wear booties without socks but I also like the pair with the slit more so I ended up just getting the slit pair um, these are by Steve Madden they were on sale from a hundred I think like 150 to 89 or something like that um, they just look so good I love their style I love the pointy toe the color the black heel it has a little like mirrored plasticky thing here um, and you could wear socks with them but they would have to be very low like kind of like the flat type of socks the heel is about three and a half inches I just love them the only thing so I'm a nine and I got a nine in those uh, because I read a lot of blog posts from bloggers that say they run true to size and they fit me well without socks but when I tried them on with very thin socks they were pretty tight so maybe when I go to the store to pick up the other half of my order I'll try them out in a nine and a half and see if they fit a little bit better but if you're in between sizes I would definitely go up um, other than that I mean without a sock they feel totally fine but I probably would want to wear some type of a sock with them so I just have to maybe try it out in the store and see how the other one fits um, and yeah that's it for my haul part one let me know if you want to see part two or if I should just show it to you on Instagram I think there's like six or seven more things and I'll link everything below I'll link some of my other wish list items as well so you can check back even if something is sold out just keep checking add it to your wish list and um, on the Nordstrom app if you add something to your wish list then you'll get a notification if it comes back in stock so thank you so much for watching let me know if you bought anything and if so what did you get if I should pick up anything else and I will see you soon bye